hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we will learn to create a sign up page or registration page using html and css you can see on my computer screen here i have added a registration form in the left column and social media sign up buttons in the right column in this sign up button you can see very beautiful hover effect we will make this sign up page design using html and css but before starting this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel easy tutorials now let's start this tutorial here in this folder i have one index.html file and one css file let me open these files with my code editor which is visual studio code you can use any code editor so this is the html file where i have added the basic html structures and this one is the css file in this html file i have added the link tag that will connect the html and css file now we will add the code in the body tag. So here we will create one div with the class name hero. Let's copy this class name, write it here in the CSS file and here we will add the CSS properties. So first we will add the width, then minimum height and we will add the background. In this background we will add one color code and after that let's add the display flex, align item center and justify content center so that all the contents inside this div will be in the center and flex direction column. After that, come back to the folder and open this HTML file with any web browser so you can see this dark color on complete web page. Let me close this browser and I will open the browser with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server. So it will refresh the website automatically whenever we will add any changes in the code file. So you can see the same web page but the URL has been changed. Now again come back to the HTML file. Here we will add one text in h1 tag. So this is the text create an account. After that we will add one div with the class name sign up box in this sign up box we will create two columns so first we will create column with the class name left box and the another one right box so we have two columns now in the first one we will add one form tag and within this form we will add some input fields so first we will add input type will be text and placeholder your name and then write required this field will be required Duplicate this one and here we will change the placeholder. It will be username. Again duplicate it and here we will add type email and the placeholder your email id. Again duplicate this one and here we will add the type password and placeholder create password. After that we will add one checkbox. So here we will add input type will be checkbox and here we will add the id terms in the next line we will add the label for terms and the label text it is i accept the terms and conditions after that we will add one button so here we will add the button tag button type will be submit and button text will be sign up after adding all these html code Let's refresh the website again. You can see this text here and after that we have some input fields and the button. So we have to design this one. So let's come back to the HTML file and here you can see we have the class name hero and in this one h1. So here we will add the hero h1. So for this title we will change the color then we will change the font weight and some space at the bottom. So you can see the changed color for this text. After that come back and here we have the class name sign up box. So for this sign up box we will add the CSS properties. So here we will add the display it will be flex, align item center and flex wrap wrap. Then we will add the width 90% and maximum width will be 800 pixel. After that we will add the background it will be white color. And in this one we have the two columns left box and right box. So write the first class name left box here. Here we will add some padding 50 pixel. Then we will add the background. Here we will add one color code. Then we will add flex basis and flex grow one. Then we will add the color. It will be white. Next we have the class name right box. Write this class name here and here we will add the padding then we will add the flex basis and flex grow 
so this will create two columns in the sign up box so you can see the input fields in the left column and the right column is blank which is in white color now we will design the input fields so let's come back here we have the input field so in this one we will add one class name called input box let's add the same class name in the other input field so in the four input fields we have added the class name input box now we will add this css for this input box so write this class name here in this css file to design the input field here we will add the width then padding then margin and border it will be one pixel solid and white color then we will add the outline none and color it will be white then we will change the font size and background will be transparent after that you can see the changes in these input fields now you can see the text color inside this input field is not visible that we have to change so let's come back and here we will add double column placeholder so for this placeholder we will add the color triple f which is white now you can see the white color for these placeholder now we can type anything in these input fields after that we have to add some space just above the checkbox which is here so come back and uh, in this html file you can see we have the input field type is equal to checkbox so we will add the css for this one so let's come back to the css file here we will add input type it will be checkbox so for this one we will add the margin top to add some space at the top now you can see some space above this checkbox next we will add the css for this text which is level text so let's come back to the html file and you can see it is in the label tag so let's come back to the css file here we will add left box and label in this one we will decrease the font size it is 14 pixel that's it so it looks good next we have to add the css for the sign up button so it is in the button tag so in this css file we will add the class name left box and button for this button width will be 100 percent and background it will be white then we will add padding 10 pixel that will be space inside the button border zero and outline none then we will change the font size and some space at the top margin top 20 pixel and cursor will be pointer now this sign up button looks good next we have to add the hover effect on this sign up button so copy this one write it here then write colon hover so whenever we will take cursor over this button it will change the font weight then it will change the background and it will also change the text color so here we will add triple zero which is black background so in this one we will add transition background 0 0.5 seconds so it will change the background color in the 0 0.5 second after that again come back to the website you can see if i take cursor the background color and text color is changing and the text is also becoming bold now come back to the html file here we will add one space and let's add a span tag and in this span we will add one arrow hex code you can search for the right arrow hex code on google you will get this one here we will add semicolon also so after adding this you can see there is one arrow after this text which is sign up this is the right arrow after adding this let's come back and uh, here we will add this left box button then span so for this span we will add display display will be inline block and uh, width will be 30 pixel and overflow hidden after adding this again come back you can see this alignment is not good for this text and icon it is not in the same horizontal line so let's come back to fix this one in this button we will add display flex align item center and justify content center after adding this three line you can see the alignment for this text and arrow is good now we have to hide this arrow it will be visible on hover so we will make the width zero here 
after adding this you can see the arrow is hidden because the width is zero now we have to make it visible after hover so let's duplicate this one here remove this and this one after this button we will add hover and in this width we will add 30 pixel and uh, in this uh, span we will add transition width 0.5 seconds so in the 0.5 seconds it will make the width 0 to 30 pixel so you can see the arrow becomes visible when we take cursor over this button so this hover effect looks very beautiful after adding this we will add the social media sign up buttons on the right column for that let's come back to the html file and in this right div we will add one a tag for the link and here we will add the text so the text is connect with facebook let me duplicate this line and here we will change the text so the second one is connect with twitter and the third one is connect with google after that come back to the website you can see these links here with this link we have to add the social media icon for that we will come to the fontawesome.com here you have to create an account and click on kits then click here and you will get this one line of a script just copy this script and come back to the html file and here you have to add this script just above this closing hit tag after adding this script let's come back to the same website and click on icons and here you can search for any icon that you want to use on your website so here we will search for facebook let me use this second icon click here and copy this one line of code and paste it in your html file where you want to display the icon like this so this is the icon for the facebook let's come back and search for another icon which is twitter click on the icon and click on the code and paste it here now we will add the another icon that will be for google search the icon here copy this code and paste it in your html file so after adding these three icons again come back to the website you can see the icon and text now we have to design this one for that we will come back and here we have the class name write box so write this class name here write box and a for the anchor tag display will be block and width will be 100% then we will add the margin 20 pixel from top and bottom minimum width will be 250 pixel and color white and font size 14 pixel and some padding and text decoration will be none then we will add background after adding this you can see changes in these links next we have to change the size for the icon and we need a space between the icon and text for that come back and here you can see we have the a tag and inside this a we have i tag for the icon so in this css file again write this one then write i that will be for the icons here we will add font size it will increase the size of the icon and the margin from the right side that will add some space on the right side of the icon so it looks good next we have to add different color in each button for that remove this color from here and come back to the html file and in the first one we will add a class name fv link now in the second one we will add the class name tw link that will be twitter and for the third one we will add g link that will be for google copy this class name write it here in the css file and here we will add the background and any color code that will be for the facebook color now again add the second class name which is twitter link tw link and here we will add another background color duplicate it and change the class name g link and here also we will add another color code After adding this, you can see different color for each buttons, Facebook, Twitter and Google. Next we have to add one message and link at the bottom. 
For that, come back to the HTML file and you can see this sign up box is closing here. So here we will add a space and let's add one text in p tag. So the text is I already have an account. And let's add one a tag for the link and link text will be login now. So you can see this link at the bottom, the text and link. We have to change the color and add space. So here we will add one class name, login, msg, login message. Copy this class name, write it here in the CSS file and here we will add the color white. Then we will add the margin top and font size. Again write this class name and in this one we have the link with the a tag. So for this a we will add the another color code and text decoration will be none. That's it. After adding this you can see text and the link looks good. So finally we have completed this uh, sign up page design using HTML and CSS. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.